Okay, so let's take a few minutes and just talk about the moon here pretty quickly. Um, so the moon is actually pretty interesting and has its own uh, quite different geological past. Um, so our moon is actually pretty big. We have the largest uh, moon to planet ratio out of all of the other uh, moons and planets. So that means that our, our moon is, you know, significantly sized uh, to the Earth. It's only a quarter of the size of the Earth, so that, that's pretty big um, compared to a lot of the other moons and their planets. Um, its density is pretty much the same as what we see um, on Earth's crust, so 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Of course, the moon rotates at the same rate that the Earth uh, revolves, so that means we only see one side of the moon um, all the time. We don't get to see that far side of the moon. Um, because the side that we see that's visible to us is always facing us. It's a little bit more protected. Um, so that means the far side of the moon tends to be a little bit heavier cratered. Um, I do want you to note, these words may not mean much of anything to you if you haven't had 101, um, but Earth, or excuse me, the moon is made up of a rock or a mineral that we see um, that's very, very common on Earth itself. So kind of keep that in the back of your head for a minute. So when we look at the moon, we see highlands and lowlands. Um, the highlands tend to be right, very lightly colored. You see areas here. This area that's you know pretty densely cratered, as you can see. It's about 4.2 billion years old. Remember, we know the Earth itself is 4.6 billion years old. Um, then, of course, we have the lowlands, which are the maria. These are the darker areas. Uh, the word maria means sea in Latin or ocean, and that's because these areas were once thought that they were oceans. And I think you can see why, right? They're really dark blue in color, so I think it's really pretty easy to see why people thought that they were oceans. Um, let's talk about where the moon comes from. It's actually a pretty pretty awesome story. Um, so the moon actually comes from the Earth. It's actually a part of the Earth. Um, so early on in Earth's history, remember, Earth was originally homogeneous when it formed. It was a molten mass that was the same um, throughout. And as it was starting to differentiate, meaning uh, separate out by density, right? So it was starting to get its different layers. Um, as it was right in those beginning stages, a uh, large object um, collided with that mostly molten Earth. And of course, as that large object hit Earth, a bunch of pieces flew off of the planet. Um, I love this picture. It's a, it's a pretty darn dynamic picture there. Um, but a lot of pieces flew out of the Earth, and those pieces essentially accreted and formed the moon. And I know that seems really uh, fantastic, um, but there's a couple of things that tell us this. Um, first, remember, the moon and the Earth are made out of the same stuff. So we have the same rocks, okay, same density, same mineral proportions, same stuff. Um, the other thing that's kind of neat uh, that really kind of puts that nail in the coffin is that the moon is actually moving away from the Earth. Um, if you throw an object in outer space, it's going to continue to move until it collides with another object, right, to lose that inertia. Of course, you roll an object on Earth, and gravity is going to eventually slow it down to a stop. Well, the moon still has remnant inertia, and it moves away from the Earth at about one inch a year. Of course, Jupiter is also tugging on the moon, um, kind of stealing it away from Earth as well. So we've got a pretty dynamic interaction going on. Um, but the moon is slowly moving away. So it's a pretty, pretty fun story um, and pretty agreed upon in the astronomy world.